by Trenda. Fun while it lasted. As sort of a goodbye to Trenda, I've got to do one last manual Hydra run. And, um, you know, my overall sentiment about this is I abused it for as long as, you know, at least for like two years plus. So, you know, I, 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 was, I was able to do that. I got rewards from it and I'm going to take it on the chin and it's whatever. At the end of the day, it's not like I uh, paid too much attention to Hydra anyway because I just said it and forget it. But this is Trenda. These are the stats that, or these are the pieces of gear that I have on her. Savage and crit damage. We've got attack, a little bit of HP, crit damage on crit, uh, crit damage, attack on attack. Fully booked, phantom touch, uh, lower star blessings. She's just gonna take phantom touch. If I had a higher blessing, I'd probably change it, but these are the total stats. 7.6K attack, 230 speed, 327 crit damage. So let's go ahead and she's got the Helm Smasher. This is the team, we are on normal. And let's go ahead, we're gonna take this off auto. We're gonna do this manually. Let's go ahead and give it a last hoorah. And um, just so you guys know, um, this is gonna take a bit. So, you know, keep that in mind. And whenever this happens, it's kind of a iffy situation because we don't know if Trenda's gonna be able to smack, but that's why we have George it here because he just completely nukes it. Don't have to worry about Trenda not being able to hit the head. I'm gonna hit this, hopefully Hex spreads on their A1. Okay, so Hex did spread because um, she is in a Hex set. We're gonna boost. And then Trenda is going to hit the A2, probably smashing all of the heads. Ideally, I would hit the what do you call it? I would hit one of these magic heads so that we could uh, do a bigger splash damage because the, the splash damage multiplies further if you're hitting, well, I don't know why, but hitting the, the A2 targeting the yellow is better than targeting the green, but you know, it is what it is. Slow it down, let's check the damage. Spreads 2.3 million right there, almost nuking down the other heads. Let's go ahead and just do this now. Okay. And yeah, no longer are we going to be able to just constantly do tons of tons and tons of damage. Uh, we're resetting Trenda's skills here, and then we're going to attack here. And then here you're going to see the A2 is going to pop up again, smashing the other heads. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing here. And we're doing 8.9 million there with weak hit on these two heads here. Yeah, I've seen her hit as hard as like... 20 plus million and that's not even like the high end I'm, I'm, I'm on the lower end when it comes to being able to do a lot of damage with trunda there's a lot of people out there with better accounts better builds than mine able to i've seen as high as like um 40 million plus before so it's it's crazy and then here we're just banging out the damage the other thing is the pool for the hp on hydra heads is going to be going um away or there's, they're starting to implement a pool. So right now, as long as you have decreased speed, you can keep attacking the heads however you want to. And there's there's um, different situations here. So for an example, each of these heads have different defenses. I don't know which one is the weaker head or which one will receive more damage when decapitated. Like, I, I just, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is like, this head might have a lower defense than this head. I can't remember which one it is. Let's go ahead and decrease Trenda's cooldown. Serpent's Will. It's gonna be getting getting a, a buff. Trend, or not Trenda, but they're getting a buff here. And so we're gonna reset Trenda's cooldowns. The A2 is now prepared. We're going to hit this head. And now what Trenda is able to do is basically nuke down the other heads before they even take a turn, if she's strong enough with the right setup. So we'll see. But right here, 586. Just, just about, almost, but not quite. And this head basically received nothing. These are weak heads or stronger heads than Trunda, so that's the other thing. And ideally, we would have Hex up on these heads as well to boost that damage, but it is what it is. And we're going to keep going. So this is going to take quite some time. What I'm going to do is go through this a little bit more, and then, uh, because it's pretty much repetitive, at, at some point, it just, you get the idea, you just hit, I should have hit on, on this head. Um, the idea is you just keep rinsing and repeating that 
So that Trunda keeps doing her A2, smashing all the heads, and um, that's basically it. So I'm not going to sit here for the entire hour. I'll probably skip to the end uh, after we finish our run or, or near the end. So we're resetting Trunda's skills. We're going to hit um, this head here. I try to hit the head that doesn't have Hex because if I hit uh, a head that doesn't have Hex that has decreased defense and weaken, then I can spread some of that damage to uh, to Hex there. So that's important while I'm doing my targeting. I'm going to spread decrease defense and weaken. I probably shouldn't have done that because they're about to pop back up again. So that was my bad. I should have thought about that. Let's boost attack. Hopefully Trenda can... S there we go. We got to move here. And almost taking care of that head there, but not quite. The head of fear is a big one. Let's try to get rid of her. Let's boost our speed, our turn turn meter. Big, big iffy there. 75% of damage currently is being reduced with this head. Let me just hit the A1. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Yep, it's all it's all going. No, nothing passed through. So now I just got to hit the A1 until this head uh, is taken care of. Unfortunately, that's just what we have to do for now. We're able to get through there. And let's get rid of... Um, I wonder if I hit this head, if the hex will spread and take care of this. Let's see. Oh, nope, no, it doesn't do that. But we have um, Brimstone taking care of it. So let's go ahead, start it back up, place our buffs. Her A2 is not ready yet. We have to use one of these. Uh, I forgot what their what their what her name was. Nia's one of the Nia's to cool down. So now her A2 is available. We're gonna hit the A2 next time Trenda takes a turn here. Hit the A2, and we can save the cooldown because Trenda has her A2 available. We're going to put this on you so that you can't get your buff up. That reflect damage is nasty, but it doesn't matter. 3.1 million there taking care of it hit this head it's got decreased defense and let's place weaken on something else and it doesn't happen i forgot this lydia doesn't have uh, a curse set on her i've got a i feel like if i have two curse set champions i'd be doing a ton more damage and that's something that i'm considering doing just building another champion with um with a, a cursed set all right we're setting it up here I think I should have... I, I think I was supposed to put the cooldown on Trenda. See, if I'm not paying attention, I completely forget. Oh, never mind. We were, we're good. All right, so we're good here. Now, this head and this head are the targets. My ire, uh, my, my desire. This one doesn't... Oh, this one has Hex. This one doesn't have Hex. So I'm going to hit this head to spread the damage because the splash damage is what, what matters. As you saw right there, 16 million, 15 million there big numbers so goodbye to this comp i'm pretty sure now i just had a podcast uh the knights of Teleria over on blazon's channel big shout out to blazon thanks for having me on i really appreciate you for considering me and um just being open to having me we were talking about how trunda is still going to be really strong just not able to do this kind of damage anymore but she's still going to be really good the question is is she still going to be top tier we don't know and it's all speculation until we try it out right so once everything goes through the blender the nerfs final or sorry the rebalance has actually happened then we're going to see how the community is going to respond to this but so here i don't want to use the a2 but unfortunately i i, I have no other option so i'm just going to hit this and as you can see because we weak hit here um, it just, it is what it is, but everything else, Serpent's Will is keeping that damage reduction up by 75%. So I'm kind of out of luck there, and it looks like this head is about to cleanse. So for now, all I can do is just, and we're, yep, so now this head is gonna be an issue for us. So we're just gonna focus down on this head for now, just hitting the A1 until everything falls off from our, from our uh, damage divas, but we're still gonna boost, try to get as many turns in as we can. And let's focus on the A1. Let's try to spread. Oh, uh, we can't do anything there. We're gonna try and spread our hex, but it's hard to do that when the poison clouds are up. And it's just part of the situation. We're gonna hit this head, 58 on that one. 
and looks like nothing's gonna be able to go down quite yet. We're kinda at SOL here. Life barrier is up. Hopefully nobody devours anytime soon. Just hitting the A1 for now. But when we do get to Lydia, we're gonna place the block buffs on this head here because reflect damage is absolutely horrendous for us. Hit the A1. Focusing on this head here. Hit the A3 from Lydia on this head to prevent reflect damage from going up. Let's try to boost. I'd like to get reflect or uh, I'd like to get the block buffs up on this head as well. Because we don't want buffs going up on this head either. I might have to set the cooldown for Lydia. That way she can get to it in time because he's about to use it. And ideally we would do it before he can take his turn, but at the same time or before this pops off. Actually, maybe I should have waited. The poison cloud still is up, so there's an issue there. Okay. And we might be able to get to it in time. I'm not confident in this ability to nuke yet, so we're going to hold off on doing that. Focus on this head here. Let's do a little bit of healing for Trenda. And we're going to hit this head. And now we can place the block buffs. So now we don't have to worry about reflect damage anywhere. So this was blocked. And he's about to take a turn where if I were to hit, if I was going to hit him, then his um, reflect damage would go up and then Trenda would be completely messed up here. But we're, we're okay. We're okay. So now we have to find a head that doesn't have ally protect and doesn't weak hit. So if we hit this head, we're kind of screwed. Ideally, we would wait for something like decrease damage, but... Actually, I think we could do that. Let's hit the A3 for now. Do this, and let's wait for... Now, we're kind of a little bit uh, iffy here, so we're going to place block buffs, or we're going to place ally protect. Now we're going to have the buffs that we need up. Let's try to boost turn meter. Uh-oh. And we're going to... Hmm. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk Trenda. Take a turn. Here we go. There it is. And now we're pretty much saved. Just have to wait for Arbiter to get her cooldowns back. And I think Nia has the ability right now to place her on cooldown, which means next turn around we should be able to to get that up. Let's hit um, one of these heads here. Try to place place weaken, and nothing happens. Quite. I should have aimed down on this head. It's got weaken. So next turn Arbiter is going to be able to revive everybody as well as place the increased attack and give some healing out as well. And now we can go to town once more on the decapitated heads. Yeah, this pool that they're about to introduce is going to suck, but like I said, it is what it is. And I'm okay with it because we've we've been abusing it long enough. All right. These heads come back and these heads are going to be our weak hit heads. So kind of SOL there. Let's focus down on this head. And the fear head is back and it looks like Trunda hit the fear head. Do our best to try to get rid of this head fast. But unfortunately, uh, it's probably just not going to happen quite yet. Going to remove the buff. We could try to... Let's hold off. We're going to hold off because this head is about to cleanse, I believe. And let's just hit this so we don't put the fear on her. And we're going to hit the A1, trying to avoid putting or touching this head. I might even just risk it again on this head. It sucks. We're negative affinity. But you know, I'm just, I really want this head out because if we can't take any turns, then we're kind of screwed for a little bit longer so let's just hit the a1 really try to get these head this head out of the way okay so it's cleared i feel like the next the next hit is gonna be the one to take care of it all right there it is boom now we're free to let loose once more uh oh trunda let's see here let's hit the a1 decrease defense and weaken and we have to get Georgia in. So Georgia, do your thing. 
And here it is. Let's trunda out. Try to get the block buffs up on this head. Luckily, our other Nia is built in a protection or a provoke set. So we're good to go to not worry about this head here. I can't remember if Trunda has her A2 available, but we're going to decrease cooldowns just to be sure. And I feel like she's good. She has her A2 available. So we're going to hit the A2 on this head here. And this is actually ideal because it is spirited. If uh, she's not ready, fuck. That's okay. We still demolished. We still demolished. Next turn, she's going to be available. Let's get rid of this head already. Boost. And decrease defense. Weaken. Hit it here. And now the A2 is available. Oh, this is the ideal head. Never mind. The magic affinity. The same affinity is what you want. I said that spirit was earlier. And let's go ahead and hit this head. Put her skills on cooldown. Place the block buffs on this head. Can't get the reflect up. Put her skills on cooldown again, making her A2 available for another nuke. Let's see what we do here. 1.5, 13 mil. We kidding here. So this rotation in particular isn't going to be the best just because we've got two force affinity heads. So it's kind of a crappy situation. Uh, not not the best way for Trenda to go. Ideally, I was going to hope to do Buku amount of damage, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, hit this exposed neck. We're good to go on the decreased defense and the weaken, focusing down on the decapitated head. Again, it sucks that that cap is going to happen, but it is what it is. Hit this head. Look at that. A nice, chunky 439 mil. We have... X on this head and we need to have block buffs up because if we can't get rid of this head then the poison clouds are going to be an issue there you go let's place Trenda's skills on cooldown and this is a weak affinity for us again but sometimes we're, we're able to power through the weakness so we'll see Hit it. Okay, see, that's what I mean. Sometimes you, you pass through the weak. I think weak hits basically give you like a, a higher chance to do less or not hit normal or not hit crit, hitting a lot less of damage. But sometimes it passes through. You can get lucky. It's an RNG run battle. So we'll see how far we get now. We're at 212 mil. Got to bump up these numbers because I'm, I'm slacking. I'm slacking on the on the damage here. I should be doing a lot more by now, but I'm not. But I'm also not going to rerun it because <laughs> nobody wants to do that. It's a lot of time spent. Decrease speed. Boom. Well, no boom, I guess. Yeah, there you go. All right, now you're gone. The lonely head here. And put Trenda's skills on cooldown hit this head should have hit one of the decrease i keep thinking this lydia has cursed on because on my other account i have cursed lydia of course you're gonna heal put that life barrier on you i think we do this one more time there you go now our skill is on cool and all these heads the exposed heads are all weak so let's just hit this or trend is gonna hit weak on all of them so that kind of sucks really gotta get this head down there you go. Hit the A1s, spread it. No ditty. And screw it, hit the A2. There you go. At least we got 3.8 mil there. We got this head down now. We don't have decreased defense and weaken available. It doesn't matter, these... Hey, okay, so this one came out magic. Magic affinity, that's what we want. Hitting the exposed neck here. We gotta get block buffs up on this head. A little bit of heals. And let's put this on that head. Boost. Hit that. For now, we're going to do this. A2. 
I should have done the decreased defense. And what, what, what was I doing? That that's a mess up on my end. Now we have decreased defense and weaken, but the timing is off, completely off. My bad. That was a most people who uh, really go into it would probably just reset the run now. I messed up. But while this has the uh, block buffs up, we're gonna. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. So. Maybe we have another chance here. Let's hit this focus on this head here. And okay, so we can't do anything now except hit the exposed heads. Focus on this. Wait for Trenda's cooldown on her skills to come back. Do the cleanse. Other head comes back, of course, still force affinity. Gonna hold off on using the A3 there. Put Trenda's skill on cooldown. Now we place the decrease defense and the weaken. Unfortunately, these two heads aren't going to receive it. But we'll see. Yeah, no. Just a bad rotation to be running Trenda. Yeah, I picked I picked a I picked an interesting one this time. Alright. Block buffs. Go run around again and do this hit that just trying to smack out whatever I can focusing on the decapitated head still we at two we're at 250 million all right let's focus on this head we got the provoke up not that it's gonna do anything the AoEs. Okay, now we can focus on smashing this head. A million from Georgid. 428 on the second hit around. Increase defense. Boost. Trying to skill on cooldown. Putting the A1 there. Saving that. Bringing this over here so that block buffs goes up. Reflect damage we don't want coming out. Hitting the A2. I should have done it on this head. This head had the decreased defense and weaken. Shit. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Alright, put her skills on cooldown. Too little, too late maybe. And we don't want to put the fear on Trenda, so we're going to hit the A1. Focus on this head. Boost. Got fear on... Tr oh my gosh, Lydia. Ah, oh, damn it. I chanced it. I chanced it. This fear head. Yeah, if you don't have Shamael, then uh, it's a bit scuffed. I mean, we've ha we have Weaken, so let's just hit at this head. And yeah. Not, not my perfect... Not a perfect run. Not my best run. I'll be honest with you but it is what it is. All right, so we're about to hit the uh, 1 billion uh, mark. And if it wasn't negative affinity, obviously I would have gotten here a lot sooner. So this is not going to be my absolute best score ever, but um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna spend another hour manually the entire thing. I'm just gonna let it be and um, call it a day. But let's go ahead and make ourselves at the 1 billion mark and I figured out it was this head this head whenever it's magic affinity is the head that's weaker than the other ones so that's the one that I want to target whenever uh, I have the ability to but I kind of fell back into the rhythm of what I'm supposed to do because I'd forgotten since I've been leaving it on auto but I just remembered after doing it for a few more turns um, since you last saw me or I guess uh, it, it doesn't really look like it took a lot of time because it's been edited but yeah, I kind of fell back into the flow of things. And so, yeah. But I mean, I, I'm still making mis mistakes here and there. It, it is, it, you know, I'm, it is what it is. I don't think she needed to have a cooldown there. That's another mistake I did. I'm pretty sure she didn't need a cooldown that time around. There you go. 13, 13 over there. And then Georgia has been a saving grace, him being a void champion and just smacking really hard. All right, we'll see where we're at when we get to the 1500 mark. Bye, Trenda.
fun while it lasted. Tengamos pasado así, no hay 